hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to address this story that has been going around about the lucky girls or lucky girl or whatever and a lot of you may have heard about it basically there was this girl that came out i think on tiktok and said that she does the do with dogs and that uh, she's rich from that whatever if i'm not mistaken the way the story is to be honest is a story that I, I actually didn't have any interest in i'm gonna be honest but the reason i want to address it is that there are some aspect of it that some some people don't seem to think about so apparently i don't know whether she does that and then sells the videos if that's what the story is or whatever way but definitely there's kind of like money involved and uh, so there was a tiktok where she said it is this i did you know she's like i didn't keep person so it's just dog you know what's the big deal da, 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 and all of that going on and then eventually the police at the moment are searching for the girl i don't think they found her at the moment i wanted to come and address the area of you know sometimes we ask ourselves okay now how life be that eh, my insta be you know because there's still that okay okay you ask yourself okay mm, okay wait how is that offense what is that what is wrong with that okay fine it's wrong it's wrong but it's her life she's an adult she can do what she likes and all. do you know what i'm trying to say that's why people do not understand okay, why is she being arrested no be her life no be her this no be her that i want to address the other aspect that comes to my mind that i realize that actually does not come to a lot of people's minds you know so in when it comes to this area of is your life you can do what you want there are some areas in life that it actually doesn't work that way right because now let's think about this right okay this girl is loving a dog okay let me put it like that okay so she's loving a dog now it's her life she can do what she likes and then tomorrow she is loving a man if you know what i mean and after she has with a dog then she goes with a man there are some a friend of mine made a video about it actually about you know i'll put a link you guys can check it out some aspects she addressed about the health implications and stuff like that so when you then think about the health aspect of it right let's say she jammed dog she collect something okay and in the process she then tomorrow because definitely she no go marry an abby okay tomorrow now she's now okay in a relationship and then she passes whatever i'm just using this to kind of make us think of this other aspect of it boyfriend then collects and then boyfriend relationship ends or his boyfriend that has another girlfriend and then that girl collect before you know it's sometimes safe it is life eh? I, I made a post in which i say that let's be honest even the rona we're talking about the government are doing their best with rona i mean i don't believe it's a conspiracy you know some people believe it all of, they are doing everything to you know put it under control vaccination all of this i have come to realize that there is so much about rona people stood that even the government even the experts still do not understand because they are doing their best does not mean they understand it all for example you will find among my friends I, most of my friends be healthcare workers you know um, nurses carers you know in in that area you will find vaccinated people not vaccinated people all of them combination of everything let me tell you when i see the people that had it people that didn't have it and the symptoms and everything I have not seen any uh, uh, disparity. I've not seen anything that would make me say, okay, those actually did this. It happened like this. A lot of us, I got, I got COVID, right? I find that among us, I always see the difference between those of us that got the uh, vaccination, those that didn't get vaccinated, the thing come. It, it, I feel like to a great extent, you cannot, if they don't tell you who got vaccinated or not, you wouldn't even know. If the Rona came, Rona had no respect. He dealt with anybody as he like. Rona does not care if your white, black, purple, pink, man, woman, whatever. I'm telling you the truth. There is so much that's happened that make me sit down and say, let me be honest. The government they try you, but they have still not really nailed the Rona thing. They don't understand it. Okay, coming back to the dog lovers story, if you know what I mean. Now. This is how sometimes something go begin to travel up and down. You'll be wondering, what is this disease? Where did it come from? How did it originate? Nobody knows. You understand? Something like this now. This person can collect, distribute to give one person. Another person collect from that person. Sometimes the thief you don't come from, instead of being, you have to do the do to collect, it becomes something that is even, can be transmitted through other means. You get my point? They can become infectious you know problems that just because the person touch a door you touch the door you know wash your hand you know you shake the person hand you know shake because we don't i'm saying it there is so much unknown when it comes
comes to new illnesses and diseases that come up right tomorrow now if that thing mutate mutate to the point where you know it, it becomes a uh, something that uh, you shake hand with that person you didn't wash your hand you ate something enter your body it this i'm just coming from that aspect of things because to tomorrow now nobody still has been able to tell us where corona came from you know that they say like this one and that one that one so you say somebody chop back so you say like this somebody, different, different thing. nobody has been able to confirm where Rona came from, but at the end of the day, because when you say it not concern me in her life now, but you forget that if this kind of things, if it becomes something else, it goes as if they travel, travel if you reach your hand. Sometimes you know we look at things, be like, ah, now that side did they happen? Me, I deal the way in America, I deal all the way in the Rona has not taught you anything at this point. Think about these things. Where Rona started, where you now here, here with the tail here, Did anybody imagine that their country ah were far away? I remember when I had Rona. And I think I, I addressed it. I made a video which I mentioned it. I had Rona. And I was so annoyed. Why I was even more annoyed is that. How can something that happened in Wuhan. Or started in Wuhan. Wuhan in China. Place I have never been in my life. My two leg never go to China. I did all the way. Far away from China. They show me map and ask me to point out to you where Wuhan is. I cannot even point it out. Eh? So... I did hear they mind my business. They did all the way from Wuhan. He can't reach my hand. What does that tell you? I'm not gonna lie, that was what was really annoying me the most. Say, ah, I did this side, they mind my business. Wuhan, I never go. I don't know where Wuhan did for this world. What is happening in Wuhan got to me. Here, minding my business. But that shows you how powerful infectious diseases can be. So before you say, hey, you can do what you like. In your life, but there are some areas in life that people doing what they like is why there is this today. There are a lot of diseases today in this world that scientists have not been able to find out where did they cause where did it come from. They will keep investigating, but they do not know. So, things like this now, when best is saying be dog lover, if you know what I mean, we don't know what may be coming out of it tomorrow. Now, we don't know what may be circulating in society today that may have come from things like that, but we don't know. You see, now what are we talking about? She be is a girl. Like I said, you know, especially in Nigeria, where men have the right to more than one woman. I've been as we say they talk. I said they talk now. Where men have been not all men, but unfortunately our society in Nigeria have you know to a great extent created that mentality that a man cannot be one woman now. Uh, ah no, a man cannot be one. When some people say, How can you eat okra today? Eat okra tomorrow, eat okra. No, you have to eat with red 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 soup. As if the wives they are married to does not like to eat different soup too. As if, but when they say all these things, a ah, man cannot be one woman, nah, he gets boring after a while. I always wonder, so this man must think that their wife is finding them exciting after 20 years, 25 years. So of them, even after 5 years, their wife find them boring, nothing exciting. But they stay there because there's a commitment. I'm addressing this aspect because unfortunately, our society has created that mentality that uh, one woman is not enough. Man must be unfaithful. Ah, uh, man must have a psychic. Man must this, man must that. But in the process, for if a girl like that collect from the Aja, right? And then she has one boyfriend. The boyfriend gets three girlfriends, right? Those three girlfriends have one, one boyfriend. One, one boyfriend have three, three. I'm just using this as an example. If they don't collect something, you go to say no concern. You at least not be me by a boyfriend. But I'm showing you how things can easily travel in our world today. If nothing else, remember Rona. How many of us have reached Wuhan? But what happened in Wuhan got to got to a lot of people that have never even smelt. You, family member in Nigeria, you know, had Rona. She, she has never traveled ever. But what happened in Wuhan got to her. I'm just showing you guys why. So try you may say, okay, now your business, what you do, but they like, think about it that you see this about they talk and say this our world is the global village. You go to say if far, you know far. If nothing else, I keep saying it. Let Wuha remind you that uh, see how Wuha went far before became on far. If uh, that's not good English, but I'm just using it. Became on far when it came to Corona. He reached every corner of the earth. You get my point. That's one area I wanted to bring to our mind about this whole topic of the uh, dog lover. Uh, how much whatever they make. If we think this side is good, to also think the other side and say ah. This is actual. This is actually true, and you wonder why police is looking for her. Why this one? Why is it anybody's business? Why is it that? It's not my business. It's not your business. It's her life. It's her. I just wanted to show this other aspect that will make you sit back and actually reflect on the fact that, or ask the question in your head: Is it actually really her business? 
in the real sense of things. A lot of women in Nigeria are married to men that are not faithful. The faithful wife is at home, clean, but the man is jangolovahing up and down. Such men can go and small, 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 bring a kini, come meet you for a house. You know what I'm trying to say. So I really hope I'm making sense. I just wanted to come and quickly just drop that area to make us kind of reason on this other aspect of it. You know, I don't know what you guys think about this thing. Um, as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.